Welcome back. This is Chantal from Chantal Ceramic. Um, today I will be uh, working on textiles. I have written two sheets of uh, making textiles using the lovely Amica glazes. I a month ago I made a big purchase uh, for Amica glazes. I bought like I'm not gonna say how much. Lot. I spent so much money. Uh, but it's a good investment, I'm sure. Amaco glazes are so beautiful. And the good thing about Amaco glazes is that they, you can mix them all together. And every time you mix, for example, let's say indigo float with midnight, you get a particular nice recipe, like a nice combination. And then you mix the blue midnight with um, Arctic blue. And then so there's so many things that you can do just from like uh, three or four um, glaze bottles you can actually make maybe five or um, ten different glaze combinations so that's what I like about Amaco and uh, yeah so I have written almost um, 35 test styles these um, test styles are be doing uh, vertically uh, so this uh, here is a vertical um, Textile. I will be dividing it into separate sections using like a, a black underglaze pencil. I also have this one. Uh, I threw this one on the wheel a long time ago, uh, 20, 2022. Uh, but now because I've changed the way I throw things, I make things really thin. So I trim them a lot and I also change the style of the handle. So I'm just going to use it as a test style. Uh, so once I finished um, these ones, I will be working on these little uh, test tiles that look like cookies. Um, on these ones, I also I will be doing um, 18 different um, test tiles. Uh, so they're all going to be um, on, on each one of those as well. I might be doing two different um, a way of applying the glaze. Um, so like for... Uh, let's say I'm, I will be doing the blue rutile or blue rutile. I'll use two test tiles. One of them I will just apply straight the maybe three coats of blue rutile. And on the other one, I will apply one coat and sponge it off because I want to see how the result looks like with, um, with it being sponged off. Because as you have maybe noticed uh, with all my mugs, I like to keep the... Uh, the bottom part like the half or the third um, with texture and this area basically uh, I feel like it's nice aesthetically it's nice but it's also I would be putting a glaze here that doesn't run and then from here to here a glaze that does run so in case it does run and it goes too far down it doesn't get down to the kiln, uh, to the kiln shelf so there the glazes that um, interact together and run, they will only be applied to this section here. Um, I was just trying to resolve the issue of having the mug or the piece getting stuck on the kiln shelf. So I feel like there's no need to um, glaze the whole mug and hoping that it's not going to stick on the kiln shelf. So you just need to glaze this side here, that part, that section. And this section you can just put like a, a saladon or any other glaze that's sponged off so it will not actually run. Um, so that's the idea. Um, so the glazes that I will be trying today, uh, the combinations, um, please let me know if any of you has done this combination before. I have the seaweed over Timoka. I'm not sure if I'm, sp I'm pronouncing this correctly, Timoka, T-E-M-M-O-K. Um, so this is the seaweed here. Um, and the seaweed, it runs a lot. So I have to be very careful with seaweed. I might have to uh, uh, use like a, a cookie under the test tile or the mug, um, just in case it does run and hit uh, the kiln shelf. So this is the seaweed. And then I will be uh, using it with uh, Timoka, I think it says, um, which is this one here. So yeah, these two mixed together. That's the first one. And the second one, it's going to be blue rutile over Tumoka as well. Uh, so we have the blue rutile. I've used blue rutile or blue rutile. I've noticed um, watching videos on uh, YouTube, some people call it blue rutile, some people call it blue rutile. 
um so this is going to be sorry the blue um the uh, blue rutile over the timoka so these two together and then um we're going with opening slip round uh, time three with dots of seaweed now i haven't used the opening slip brown i have seen really nice combinations so this is going to be the opening slip round um please excuse this <laughs> wire i bought this nice little microphone yesterday from jp hi-fi um here a shop here in australia uh, but i wish it was wireless because now i have to get really close to the camera or my phone basically uh, because it's a very short wire and you can actually see it on the on the video but apparently the wireless one is a little bit bit more expensive so i'm just starting with my blue uh, my uh youtube channels i'm working on different things and um, the time now it's around 7 a.m and i am sitting right in front of the windows so the light is hitting um my face and i also have changed the sitting on my camera to 8k so like a high resolution and um, they recommended 4k but i tried 4k it didn't look nice the 8k is higher than the 4k obviously but the problem there is something else that changes so it's a k uh slash 24 pfs or something if anyone knows anything about this please explain it to me because ideally you need to have it 60 fps or something uh but yeah the ak uh, the 8k doesn't come with 60 with the samsung s22 plus that i've got at the moment i'm thinking to buy a different samsung which is the um, s22 23 ultra this might have the 8k um 60 or 30 but that at the moment i'm recording at 8k 24 so i think it's a cinematic uh uh effect and it's the highest resolution but i think the video moves slower or something and i don't know if you can notice that in the video anyway so um so i don't know if, I'm, if you would like me to read all of these combinations um i would also would like uh the chinos now i moved to chinos i think the chinos are going to be really good on that texture side here so i got the mat i think mat will be nicer and i will be sponging it off so I, i've got the asaya mat and i've got the matcha mat and also the oluno oluno olunog mat um so i'll be trying these ones as well and um, i think i will be trying them on these uh, small test tiles I also have these um, test tiles that it already has a stencil uh, work on them. I will be glazing them uh, with this new um, zinc flear, uh, clear from Amico, like clear zinc clear. I think it's called Zahara. I'm, I've been trying to get the mixing clear from Amico, but for some reason I, we can't get it here in Australia so yeah so the next uh one i will be trying is i already have tried this one on a mug and it looked really good but i want to try it again with doing some tweaking to see what happens is the honey flux iron luster and then alternate dribs of blue rutile and ancient jasper and then oatmeal on the top i will also be trying the oatmeal um over iron luster uh, ancient jasper over iron luster iron luster over blue rutile Oatmeal over iron luster, blue rutile over blue midnight, palladium. I don't know if I'm saying this right. This is a new glaze as well. Uh, palladium. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Where are you? Where are you? See, I can't move much because of this thing that is attached to my uh, shirt. <laughs> um, one day when I start selling more and I start making more money I will be able to get the wireless microphone it's this one here I don't know if I can pronounce it p-a-l-l-a-d-i-u-m so this is uh, so I'll go over what I, uh, this one is going to be over the blue root tile and so i'm gonna try that one i think there is a nice it's gonna be a nice glaze combination and then there's the arctic blue over storm 
and then Luster's Jade over Obsidian, Seaweed over Obsidian, Ancient Jasper over Obsidian, Textured Turquoise over Blue Midnight, Blue Rutile over Blue Midnight, Arctic Blue over Blue Midnight, Ancient Jasper over Rainforest. Next page, <laughs> number 19. Um, a rainforest over oatmeal, ice over indigo float, iron luster. Um, so it says here iron luster times three over one band of oatmeal. And then we've got seaweed over blue midnight, uh, oatmeal over iron luster, iron luster over oatmeal, blue midnight over oatmeal, iron luster over blue midnight, ancient jasper over texture turquoise. And this, um, again, the one that I can't pronounce, <laughs> over oatmeal. And then Alpine Slip Brown over oatmeal and also Iron Luster over oatmeal. I might be actually repeating, I'm not sure. Ancient Jasper over Blue Rutile. I think this looks really good. I've got like a circle around those ones that I think they look really good. I've looked them up on, you know, the, I think it was Pinterest or Google, just Googling Amico Glaze Combination. But I have to try them and test them on the particular clay that I'm using because I fired to con six as well. Um, it's gonna, the result is going to be slightly different. Now I'm gonna try using a con five clay. Um, I think it's a porcelain, which I haven't used before. I know I've heard it's very hard to throw uh, with using porcelain. Uh, but I'm sure I can manage because I've learned how to throw using slip instead of water. So I think it's going to work all right. And so we've got uh, Ancient Jasper over Blue Rutile, uh, Arctic Blue over Timoka, Ancient Jasper over Arctic Blue. And then the last one, number 35, <laughs> it's um, Texture Turquoise over Blue Midnight. And then, yeah, I've got these little test tiles, as I mentioned, I've got um, 18 different, um, um, and it's not a glaze combination, it's just applying the glaze and sponging it off to see how it looks like. And, oh, and then also applying the glaze and leave it the way it is. Because, you know, like, uh, I want to see how the glaze break over the edges, because that might, be, might look nice on the texture here as well. Now, I only have these two mugs and I don't think I've got enough. So I did a hand building for two mugs that I'm not happy with. They already have been fired uh, for bisque firing. So I might use these ones as well. Now, please, everyone, if you have noticed that the audio is, has improved, please let me know. Uh, this microphone uh, called Rod, uh, R-O-D-E, and I purchased it from um, JP Hi-Fi. It's around uh, $79. I had to buy an adapter as well because it doesn't work on my um, uh, Samsung S22+. Plus. Yeah, so anyway, I will have a busy day today, obviously. I will be doing lots of testing and lots of testing. Um, so we'll see what happens. And um, thank you again for your support and thank you for watching. And I've got this lovely lady uh, who lives at Lismo. She keeps purchasing my pieces on my Etsy shop. Uh, she's, she's very lovely. Um, I guess every time someone buys something, it gives me um the encouragement um to make more um yeah uh, but etsy in general is getting slow and i am not sure for all of the those who make ceramic please let me know if selling ceramic is a good idea on actually on etsy or online because um, if I'm just selling in a market, all what I'm going to be focusing on just making the ceramic and going to the market to sell it. But with selling online, there is a lot more involved. I have to learn more about Etsy. I have to learn more about social media, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook. Um, I have to learn how to build my own website. I have to learn photography, editing and videos and video editing. So I feel like all these things, extra things that I have to do have started taking me away from the making. So I'm not sure if anyone sell, makes and sells ceramic online. Please let me know if this is the right thing to do or should I just focus on making and just selling in markets because I feel with ceramic 
the pictures has to be really, really good because people can't touch your mug or your plate or bowl or anything. They can't touch the piece. They can't feel it. They can't see it closely. So the pictures have to be like extraordinary. And I am trying to work really hard on it, but there is also a lot of extra cost involved. Like I need to buy... Um, uh, like have a membership for Photoshop, have a membership for something called um, uh, for the uh, search engine optimization, uh, SEO. It's called um, um, Marmalee to help me choosing the right keywords um, when I uh, write the title for my, the piece that I'm selling. I also have to learn other things. There's such, so much involved and i don't know i am just really busy like i wish there are more than 24 hours in a day so i can get everything done but um i just don't want to be navigating away from making like for example this weekend i haven't made anything yet so um because yeah i keep editing i keep uh, listing I keep and then I go back to old listing and then change the pictures change the video and make things look better please tell me if it's worth it for wh whoever does uh, make ceramic and sell online please tell me if this is something uh, uh, it's worth to do or it's better to just focus on um, right consignment uh, giving your pieces to a shop so they will sell it for you and they will take like a percentage 50 or 40 or 50 percent um, or it's good to actually build my own website and also focus on Etsy and focus on my social media anyway thank you so much again for watching I will see you in my next video and have a lovely weekend everyone thank you bye